What's up everybody? This is Browncode67 coming at you with a follow-up of a video that I recently posted. In that video I showed you secret advanced military technology. It was an awesome redstone missile for Minecraft Java Edition. In this video I will go over how to do one for Bedrock. You asked, I give. Alright, now this was a design that I learned a couple years back. Gonna need a piston. Sticky piston. Observer block. Block of redstone. TNT. Slime block. And glass. Now, this version, if I remember correctly, was amazing at breaking into people's bases and blowing up. It's really awesome for houses and things like that. I want to test it on a mountain because I want to see how big of a hole I can make. If you haven't done it yet you better hit that like button like I'm about to hit the switch on this missile when I'm done all right starting off here I'm gonna put a slime block down and then another slime block and I'm just gonna go ahead and break that one right there gonna lift that up off the ground we're gonna put another slime block here so now we should have two floating slime blocks side by side I'm gonna go ahead and put the observer on like this so that the face is facing uh, open air and that the redstone emitter is facing the other slime block then we're going to take a sticky piston and we're going to slap that on right here. Alright, so now you have the sticky piston on the redstone emitter of the observer. We're going to go ahead and grab another slime block here and we're going to go two out from the sticky piston. I'm going to break this middle block. You're going to want this space here. And then we're going to grab a regular piston, throw it on the bottom here so that it's aiming towards the slime and then this piston is aiming towards the slime and then this piston is aiming towards the slime and then this piston is aiming towards the slime and yeah once you get that basically you're gonna come over here for the block of redstone and you're gonna put this thing right here uh, essentially now this is the engine of the missile it's a flying machine so as soon as something sets off this observer here it should kick start this off on its trajectory of doom all right, so now we're going to start attaching where the payload is going to be to the missile. So we're going to throw an observer block here uh, with the redstone emitter facing um, the way the first observer is face is facing. And then we're going to flip down here and do the opposite. And then we're going to do regular pistons here and here. So you should have a face here. And you should have a face here. And you should have a face here. All right, so now it's going to get to uh, be a little weird. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a couple slime blocks here. But again, we're going to come back and pop this. We're going to have a space here. And now we're going to pull out the glass. Now, it doesn't have to be glass. I just prefer this. Uh, I would definitely recommend having a transparent uh, block here. But you're going to then put your redstone here. And then we're going to put glass all around it like this so that the redstone does not contact any of the TNT before we want it to. Uh, we're going to start putting some uh, explosives in now. Make sure that you are doing this um, as I do it. Don't add anything unnecessarily. When you have redstone in the mix, you don't want the TNT and the redstone to contact early unless you want things to blow up in your face. <laughs> So, we're going to put one here, and we're going to put one here, we're going to put one here, and then we're going to go ahead and do like this, and we're going to put a slam block down below like this. Now we can go ahead and put TNT here, here, and... Right now we're going to start putting the TNT in on the side over here. We're going to do three right up here. We can put one here. And we can put one here. And then the last one here. All right, now that is the completed Missile of Doom for Bedrock Edition. Again, I just need to set up this observer here. And it'll kickstart the engine and then the missile will be away mm. towards this wall. I definitely recommend trying this on a house or a village if you have the chance because it's really awesome to see how much it destroys houses. So let's see what it does to this mountainside. Alright, and we are away! 
Oh, this is so cool. Here we go. All right. Oh, that is not exactly what I was hoping for. All right, so I just threw together another one real quick so I can show you how effective this is on a wall or house or a base. That cliffside was just terrible. Terrible. Do not use this on cliff sides. All right, so we are away, and I am excited to show you this. So it's going to actually come, and it's going to push through. And then it's going to detonate like this inside your base. Creating a big mess. Big mess. This wall, gone. Anything in that base, gone. Like I said earlier, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and click that like button, click subscribe, the bell notification button, and I'll catch you next time. If I don't blow myself up first.